Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to share with you my filming setup. So those of you that have been following me on here for a while, you'll know that I got the KB Glow filming setup back in January and I was going to do an updated kind of review on it once I'd got some use out of it and kind of worked out how to use it best for the way that I work. So I thought rather than just doing a review I would also do a filming setup as well because I get a lot of questions from you guys asking me about the stands that I use, the lighting that I use, so I just thought I would stick it all into this video and tell you exactly how I film my YouTube videos and also how I set up for my online masterclasses as well. Before we get started, for those of you that are new here, my name is Jojo. I am a multi award winning gel nail technician. I'm a light elegance educator and I'm based in Devon in the UK. I currently run online masterclasses and I also upload weekly videos here on YouTube. So I'm going to start with the KB Glow because that was kind of the inspiration behind this whole uh, video. As you can see, it's very much made itself at home now. Um, and I really have got it working just right for the way that I like to use it and how I like to work. So um, I have got the extendable height, so I have kept the um, height extenders on the KB Glow. This just suits me a lot better. I don't know whether it's because I'm taller and I've got my stool at the moment uh, down to the lowest that it can be, but you can still see that compared to my desk, I'm still quite high. So for me, with the height of my desk, if I didn't have the extendable height, the KB Glow would come to about here and I just find it really hard to like get in underneath and see what I'm doing. So <laughs> um, I keep the extendable legs on there, worth bearing in mind if you are taller like me or maybe have a look at the height of your desk compared to your stool and work out whether um, you need the extendable height or whether you'll be okay with it without. Um, I also seem to fling my arms around a lot uh, when I'm filing so I think that's also another reason why I find it easier with the extendable height. I like to use the top <laughs> of my KB Go for some like easy to reach items so I've got my nitrile gloves up here, I have my uh, Light Elegant Zippy e-file up here, uh, what else do we have? I have my dusting brush, I also have tip cutters and I also have the most recent uh, P Plus gel polish collection as well. So just some things that I find it's just easy to have on standby. I keep those above the KB Glow. Then none of it's too heavy that it causes any problems. Um, I did, I can't remember what it was now, but I did try putting something on there and I could feel that it was too heavy. So just make sure if you are using it on the top that you're not putting anything too heavy on top of there that you're gonna end up bending the top of your KB Glow. I've stuck on my cards here from the most recent Light Elegance uh, colour and glitter gel collections. Again, I just find this super useful when I am doing uh, a live or um, a masterclass. And if someone asks me the name of a colour, especially when it's a new one, you know what it's like. Sometimes the name escapes you. So uh, yeah, I just like to keep those there handy because they have the names of the colours on there and I can just have a quick look and just jog my memory. So very, very useful. I love having that. Um, I like to use the KB Glow with the power bank. So you can plug this directly into a USB plug. Um, but for me, in this room, I think I've mentioned in a previous video, we don't have loads of plug sockets in here. And actually all of the the two plug sockets that we have are the other side of the room. So I have to use extension leads for my lights and my LED lamp and stuff. So for me, it's just easier to have the uh, power bank 
So I just make sure that I really fully charge that up before I do any kind of teaching because my classes are around two hours. Some of them are an hour and a half, but a lot of them go up to two hours. And uh, I have been filming before and it's totally, it's just cut out on me. So um, I'm not sure on the exact amount of time that it stays charged for, but if you know you're gonna be on for a couple of hours, it's worth just charging it up and just, being on the safe side. I always keep the power bank on the top and then underneath I have the base from the KB Glow. Um, now I didn't know if I was going to use this because it doesn't actually like slot in anywhere when you're using the extendable height. It's designed to slot into the space when you're using it without the extendable legs. However, my desk is not the newest should we say and it's a little bit it's got some chips it's got some stains in it and although i always use like a disposable tape uh, paper towel or something like that underneath um you know as i'm taking that away and throwing it in the bin it's just nice to have a clean white surface underneath where i'm working so I have been using this and actually it's been working really well because as you can see I am using a stand for my device when I'm filming or I'm live and actually it slots in perfectly to the spaces either side of the base so it actually and it's it doesn't really move on the top of my desk and it keeps everything in place really well. So I am using the base. I didn't know if I would, um, but I am using that. The stand that I'm using is an IE Geek. I will link it down below. It's from Amazon. It's very inexpensive. I have had it now for, I think it's two years, maybe longer. And I really like it. Uh, for the price, it's very good. I know a lot of people use Archon mounts, which look amazing, but I would rather spend the money on the KB Glow and save a little bit on the stand. And this works perfectly, honestly. Um, I've recommended this to a number of people and they all love it. So um, this is actually an iPad stand. I have the height extended to the highest and I basically secure one of these because these move up and down. You can secure them so that you hold your camera or your phone in place. So, and I just position it so that the viewfinder is roughly central to where I'm going to be working. Yeah, I will show you with my phone. So I actually just use my old iPhone for my videos when I'm doing my lives because that way if I need to check anything I've got my actual phone as a spare just in case um, and I can check any any extra information if I need to while I'm on the live so this is just an iPhone I think it's like a 6s plus or something like that I find the quality is fine for video um, and this just slots in to there secure that side and it's ready to go and the thing i like about this is that as i'm working i can see it really clearly from your point of view from the student point of view the people watching the live but i can also see what i'm doing at the same time i don't use the viewfinders at the top of the kb glow that are cut in just find that they didn't work for me I tried using it with my phone but I couldn't get the angle quite right and when I'm using my camera which I'm using now that I use for all of my YouTube videos um, I use the Canon G7X for those of you wondering um, when I put that on top of the KB Glow I could get it to zoom in but the problem I had was that some things were going out of focus because I was having to zoom in so far 
um, and because obviously we're working on things that are really small I just found that some things were going really out of focus so I just use my stand underneath I find it works perfectly I don't get loads of like shadows or anything like that I do have a armrest here which I use when I am doing demos on my red iguana hand um i have had this for i think i got it in the summertime last year which i'm very pleased about because i bought it from moonflare um so i didn't have to pay any extra on the shipping i didn't have to pay any customs fees whereas obviously now i don't think there are any uk distributors of red iguana and it means that wherever we order from now we have to pay customs but when i'm using this i just use my armrest to position the red iguana hand so i just position it on there actually let me show you i'll take my camera off so this is how i have the red iguana hand positioned and obviously the good thing with this is you can just move the hand so i just leave it resting on the armrest and then hold it here and then i position my camera so that i can see what i'm doing so i need to pull the oh pull the stand a little bit further forward and now i can see and if i zoom in i can see exactly what i am doing but like i say i still have lots of space underneath so that i can see exactly what I'm doing and then when I am not using my red iguana hand I just take this away and then I just use it with the base underneath and get rid of the armrest when I'm working on my own hand I also really like the fact that I have access to the stuff at the back I do keep the back on the KB glow I just find it helps with the lighting but I really like the fact that I have this gap at the back so I have lots of space so when I'm doing my classes I will line up the products along here in order that I'm going to be using them and it just makes the process so simple so easy and yeah that's where I keep all of my products uh, and while I've got you here I will also show you so I keep my lamp to my left side here and then I have my iPad. So this is what I use to keep up with the comments as I'm doing my classes and my lives. And then I also have this little stand here, um, which I use just stood on the desk when I am talking to you guys to camera. Uh, I'll leave that link below. Uh, that again was very ex inexpensive. The actual phone section. So I bought the bottom stand separately um, this part with the phone stand actually came with my ring light which I used to film so like as I was sat down then talking to camera I have my ring light on because um, I live in England and <laughs> we need extra light I got that in with that I'll leave again I'll leave the ring light, ring light linked down below for those of you that are interested. When I am working on camera or on my phone, when I'm sat here with the KB Glow, there are two extra lights that I do like to use. Um, so I have my slimline LED daylight lamps. And what I like to do with these is just position them directly overhead and then just tilt the lights inward so that I've got extra light coming down onto the nails so i have them positioned literally so that they are just above my head <laughs> so that i don't uh obviously whack my head on them but i just find this gives me just that extra bit of light which makes my videos that bit brighter um when i'm using my camera that i'm on now i do have the ability to increase the brightness and the exposure in the settings um, and I definitely do that because, like I say, I like a bright video. But when I'm doing a live, when I'm doing my online classes and I'm using the phone, um, I obviously don't have that ability. So I like the 
videos to be as bright as they can be and having these two lights above me just helps to increase that brightness they're definitely not necessary i know a lot of you will have lamps like this anyway but if you don't then the kb glow alone works really really well so it's definitely not necessary but if you're super fussy like me, <laughs> then uh, you may enjoy those in addition to your KB Glow. And again, I will leave those links down below. So that is everything in my current filming setup. I really hope that you found this helpful. I am loving my current setup. Uh, it's definitely the best it's been so far. And although it was a bit of an investment with the KB Glow, um, the other equipment that I was looking at in place of it was going to be a lot more expensive so I'm very happy with my setup at the moment and if you are looking to uh, create like a bit of a setup for filming or lives then I can highly highly recommend everything that I have shared with you today. So thank you so much for watching. Let me know in the comments if you found this useful, if you have any questions and I'll meet you down there. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe. I upload new videos every week and I would love to have you and I'll see you next time. Bye.